This is our back porch. Uh, you can see a couple little tiny limbs down here. And then we get to the fun part. Here is a huge ass limb. In the pond. Oh, oh that limb did break. That's laying across the house. But there's a couple here in the pond. Sorry for the shaky camera. <clears throat> the limb that I thought was going to break didn't. But the limb that behind it did. I uh, have a couple more limbs here in the backyard, as you can see. Another one in the pond. The pond is very close to being full. Uh, the one loose limb, we lost a limb over here. It's up against the house block and the back door. I saw it fall yesterday, as a matter of fact. I'm crashing down, and there's ice falling on me. Uh, so I probably ought to go back inside. So I'm just kind of filming the devastation in the backyard, and I'll film the rest inside the house. And this is from the ice storm. Most of the damage actually occurred during the day yesterday and the night, last night. We did lose some stuff last night. Here's some more nice, nasty devastation. It's actually pretty good considering how badly other people's houses were damaged and destroyed by this ice storm on December 9th and 10th. But our neighbor's fence looks like it got whacked pretty good. They had a branch blocking their driveway, which our neighbors pull across. And as you can see, there's a nice, nice big branch right there in the neighbor's yard, uh, their driveway. I saw this one fall yesterday evening. Our neighbor across the street, he's been a lovely retiree. He's been clearing the street for us. And uh, we did ask him to call us in case the tree fell on the house, which thankfully it did not. So. Anyway, there's our lovely, formerly lovely Japanese elm, which is a very expensive tree, which is now down. It's possible it might be saved, but unlikely. As you can see, there's more damage down the street to the corner. The street is passable, thanks to the neighbor, and probably the city as well. Well, that one branch he did worry about did indeed fall. Then that neighbor, his name is me, this neighbor's Dean. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to get a better look at that Japanese maple, so. Hmm, poor, poor Japanese maple. It might actually survive, I don't know. Probably not. Not much left to it. Branch definitely broke over the house, so it may have damaged the roof when it broke. Didn't fall too far, thankfully. Uh, but as you can see, here's some more devastation. And this is, this is minor compared to what's happened in Tulsa uh, over these last two days. So I'm just kind of panning around so you can see what's happening. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a backup shot of the house. I'm kind of pan, zoom back. It's uh, December 11th uh, at uh, 11 a.m. So, kind of film the house. Looks okay from the front, but like I said, there may be some damage to the roof. It definitely snapped. So that limbs up. And our neighbor lost their fence, as you can see. Well, I'm going back in where it's a little warmer, even though we have.